I just wanted to go through some of the pandemics and epidemics that we have gone through on planet Earth and give you some relative statistics that uh, are kind of eye-opening. And we want to do modern era. So we want to start about 1800s and work our way forward. But in 1816 to 1826, we had a cholera pandemic, uh, killed 100,000 people. And cholera is not thought to be contagious, but I don't know how you can have a pandemic uh, when and kill that many people from a, a, a one well going bad. So obviously it was getting spread. In Asia, Europe, North America in 1829 to 1851, about another 100,000 called the second cholera pandemic uh, took place and a hundred thousand people died during 1829-1851 from the cholera so cholera has been a, a actually resurging theme throughout the throughout the centuries in Canada they had a typhoid ep epidemic 1847 to 1848 uh, 20,000 people died from that in Russia, they had the third cholera pandemic from 1852 to 1860. Eight years of cholera killed over one million people in Russia. So the cholera is a pretty bad thing. And I, I really don't think that it's just from contaminated water. I, that's how you get it. But, you know, fecal contamination is... Um, is how you spread it. That's just crazy. It's a lot of people dying. But they have several. They have a fourth, a fifth, a you know, sixth cholera pandemic. They they actually got them numbered. In 1875, the measles in Fiji killed 40,000 people just on the island of Fiji. That's that's huge. That's nuts. In 1889 to 1890, the influenza pandemic worldwide killed 1 million people. In, in 1899 to 1923, they had the sixth cholera pandemic, which killed over 800,000 people in Europe, Asia, Africa. You can't tell me that just all the water became contaminated at the same time. In China, from 1910 to 1912, they had a bubonic plague outbreak, killed 40,000 people. They had an encephalitis um, problem from 1915 to 1926, uh, killed 1.5 million people. So 1920 was like a bad, bad era. In 1957-1958, the Asian flu killed 2 million people worldwide. And then the Hong Kong flu in 1968 to 1969, 10 years later, killed about a million people. In 1974, they had a smallpox epidemic in India, killed 15,000 people in India. But, get this, the HIV AIDS, they call it a pandemic, has killed over 30 million people worldwide. That's pretty staggering. And really, the in modern days, 2008, 2009, they had, of course, a cholera outbreak in Zimbabwe, killed 4,000 people. In 2009, a flu pandemic, the influenza, killed over 203,000 people worldwide. And Hispaniola, 2010 to present, 9,000 people, 10,000 people died from another cholera outbreak. 
Then of course, then they have the Ebola outbreaks. They did have a measles outbreak in the Dem Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, 4,500 fatalities. So the Ebola pandemics have killed up to 2,000 people, if not a few more. But the measles outbreak, again in 2019, ongoing, uh, killed nearly 5,000 people in the De Democratic Republic of Congo. So measles is killing more people than Ebola. So basically the reason I went through this list was basically to give you an idea of the timing and the severity of pandemics, where your greatest threats have been and indeed worldwide it's been the flu the influenza type viruses and locally cholera has been a real issue but it, since modern day um, they've identified you know the source of cholera and they've done better at sterilizing water but it sure was a resurging pandemic different countries but we're seeing the greatest threat of all has been HIV and AIDS. So let that be a lesson to us all. And let's not forget in 2009, 203,000 people succumbed to the influenza virus. So sorry to bring you such gloomy statistics, but um, I think it's really, really helpful to put things in perspective and to realize, quantify your risks. Until next time.